Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the HTTP client in standalone application. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the standalone API in uh, Angular application. So, uh, like there, like if you have seen in the my previous video, so uh, like in there, we, what we have done, we created this application as in standalone. Uh, API and what we have done basically like in the main.ts file we created this bootstrap application and we have created these routes and in this uh, these routes so basically this teacher component is the uh, sorry the student component is basically we are getting all the data from the services and if you will go on this service so let's go on the student component and here you can see we are calling the angular 50 services and in this angular 15 services like that this is the service we are using the http client and we are getting this data from the student record dot json file so now these now currently uh, we know with the standalone application we are not anymore dependent on the app dot routing module dot ts file and even if we are not dependent on the app routing module dot ts file we have commented routing module from here so now apart from this one like here you will see http client module so it is also not in the use anymore so when we run this application and go on the browser and if i will click on this student we are not able to navigate see i can go on the home teacher and the contact us because these pages are not using the services and or we can say like when we use the services so basically we use the http client also so but this student page we use the http client or the service so when i will click on this we will see like it is giving us the errors and the reason the error are basically no provider for http client now since we are using as an stand alone api so the way of passing the http client is different so if i will go in the application so here we can see here we give the provider as in uh, angular 50 services and we give the http client module here but still we are not able to navigate to the student page so with the standalone api, uh, API the way of doing is basically like from here we, we have to pass first is the angular 15 service so this is the service name and to pass the http client module we have to use the import and uh, like import providers form so let's give that so it is basically a comma import and providers form and this basically take one parameter and this import provider forms comes from the angular core application and inside this one what we have to do we have to pass the http client module so if i will pass on like so this is the way we pass the http client module if i will save at point of this time if, if i will go and if i will navigate to the student page we can see all the record which we are having on the student page and basically these all are the record coming from the uh, like the json file uh, so every record is loading as expected and we are not um, seeing any error here related to the http client so if we can go on the end page and we can see all the data is loading as expected so this is the way we use the http client module in the standalone api or the standalone application if you want to get the uh, like if you want the uh, code related to this one you can go to the uh, um, like my github account and can get this link and you can get that link from the description section as well so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you